you've made it. Currently Thursday, and uh, I am just on the way down to uh, meet the boys. The boys have been at a school conducting maintenance this morning. So the lads arrive on site and it's just a small school and when they get there the first thing they do is check all the hedging to see what he's doing. Jack then grabs a strimmer and starts strimming the grass. The grass areas are so small that it doesn't warrant a ride on so we just strim it and blow it as we go. So we just work through the school getting all of that done. As I said they're all multiple small areas and all the flowers are coming out so hopefully that's a sign of better weather and spring but we shall see. Anyway, they just work their way through the school. As you can see, there's a fair bit of hedge work to get done. And once that's done, they can move on to the next site. Now, the reason why I've not been with them is I've got some bits and bobs going on in my personal life. So basically, uh, we're buying a new house and it's took a lot of my time up and... Um, things were stacking up I had lots of admin to do for the business and it was Ash's idea he said just stop by for an hour or so and catch up with it so that's what I've done let me just tell you about the journey I'm trying to get the house as a limited company owner the timing has been terrible so with one new contract which is obviously great and as you know anyone that's been watching the videos for a long time will know that we basically get an invoice total and the customer pays spread out over 12 months, which is fantastic because we've got a constant revenue stream throughout the year. One of the downfalls, when you win a contract that's got lots of renovation works or materials that need pitting in the ground, so we've got seed, fertilizer, all of that stuff that needs purchasing, maybe hiring equipment, it's very difficult to approach a brand new customer and say, well, thank you for your five year tender, is there any chance we could have the materials all up front? It's not the impression that I want to set either. I feel that clients want to go to a company that can give them that breathing space. Obviously, we need to protect ourselves within the contract to make sure that once the materials are in the ground, you know, they're, they've bought them basically, they're just spreading it over 12 months. But anyway, so we've won this new contract that we start next Monday. I've been trying to move house, been trying to save up the deposit for the house that we're buying. And then all of a sudden we got told about a contract win where I had to get X amount of money together to get the material sorted as well, ready for April renovations. So yeah, it's been very, very stressful. I've woke up today and I feel like a weight has been lifted. I, I had a couple of options in front of me. It was either get a business loan in order to float the materials, but I'm very, very lucky in the fact that uh, my mum and dad are gonna help me out. So mum and dad, I know you watch these videos and I just wanna say a massive thank you. Obviously I'm gonna save interest costs on a loan. The fact that my mum and dad are gonna help me means that I've got the incentive to pay it back extremely quick because I do not wanna let them down. But yeah, we're in a really good position for this year and um, the last couple of days I've just been having a bit of a moment where you look back how far you've come on your journey. And it's quite funny actually, because I didn't film it yesterday, but on the way home in the tractor, there was some absolutely crazy bloke hanging out of a Ford Ranger going, pull over, pull over. And I just got back to the unit. So I got to the unit and I thought, oh, here we go. But it was a lad called um, He's been in the industry 14 years. He's just set out on his own, doing a lot of subcontracting work at the moment and um, he was telling me his story and yeah I was just reminiscing on like where we've come even in the space in two years and for all the people out there that send emails and messages and stuff like that I know we're not the biggest company in the UK I'm not acting like that everyone's got their own journey I'm just proud of where I'm just proud of where the team have got to where we are now so before you start and hating and all that stuff I'm just talking about my journey we've still got a long way to go i know that but anyway it was great to meet yesterday and um one thing i will say is next time probably don't hang out the window like a crazy man because you could scare someone you know rant over i feel like i've just splurged and let everything out but feeling good today the sun is out let's go meet up with the boys so I meet up with the boys on site and this is where we did the pond strip a couple of weeks ago on one of our other videos. Click in the top corner to see that. Anyway, we need to get rid of all the waste. We left it on site so if any wildlife were in the waste, 
it could remove itself beforehand. Didn't take us long, took us about 15, 20 minutes to get it all on the trailer. And we're just blowing down now to keep it nice and tidy. We're now at an emergency tree that's fallen over. The ground's so soft that the whole root has just come out, come out as a root ball. High winds have pushed it over. So we're just processing that now. Any waste is going in the trailer and any good bits of wood we're going to bag up and give to a customer or take to the waste facility. We can then leave this site. And uh, yeah, I'm just waiting to see if Ash gets stuck, but he doesn't. And me and Jack head to our residential and this is where the rain started coming down thick and fast. In the meantime, Ash has run to the waste facility to get rid of all the waste on the trailer. So it is the end of Thursday and as you know, the weather has gone absolutely terribly. I was meant to be working tomorrow. Obviously it's bank holiday so our lads are off. We are working Monday because we start a new contract. Ah! Anyway, that's enough excitement for that. I'm not going to record tomorrow because if I do go into work, I just want to go in and chill. It's just going to be me. Get in, get out, smash it out and try and get a couple of days off before starting monday but we'll see how that goes but thank you so much for watching the free videos this week and the series of behind the blade and catching up with what we do here at cut crew it's been an emotional one the weather's been teasing us let me know if you've enjoyed this format if not i'll bin it off just let me know in the comments and we shall see you in the next one bye